This was a wonderful demonstration of friendship, camaraderie, and not at all uh, the abuse of Panzerschreck, Bazooka, and whatnot. So, with that, we had Boden open up this wonderful uh, second day of speedrunning extravaganza, followed by Sketch TV, bringing us Command and Conquer General Zero Hour, commentated by CC. Uh, yeah, that CC. CC Never Ender. Get used to it. He, he runs this show and he runs it well. And uh, right after that, we're gonna have some a wonderful Animaniacs, the great Edgar Hunt by Starlight Sims. Um, on the incentive side, y'all are uh, providing an amazing uh, amount of money, already pushing us to 78% of our first milestone. You heard it couple times already from me because I want to hear it too I admit I'm a, I'm a sucker for uh, CJ's shenanigans so a thousand dollars maybe today maybe even during the next run no not gonna push anything on you but uh, we have some great incentives to meet that would kind of push us already what in there Devil May Cry 4 special the special editions God's Must Die Showcase is up to be donated for. We have, it's uh, a while off, but Kirby's wonderful, beautiful air ride by Pear Strike, coming up in three runs, uh, has the uh, choi uh, choice of Kirby's color. Currently, pink is in the lead with $50, but white, blue, purple, those are all up. Purple has $23, blue, 19 Everything you donate will be put towards Save the Children, which is an amazing charity that does amazing work trying to do good in the world. And with what you donated so far, um, let's look this up. It says $125. Uh, I guess we got that together already six times. So that's a wonderful thing to see and $125 can support a community health worker for a whole year to provide primary care to 100 households. Many of the health workers educated are women. So that's a win-win. Um, thank you everyone who puts money towards this wonderful cause. Donations are much appreciated uh, but never required. Only give what you can and want to. But uh, if you do, uh, do not hesitate to give generously because it 
does go to an amazing cause, helping millions and even billions of people over the hundred years that Save the Children he is already doing this work. With that, I'll check back with our wonderful upcoming runner and commentator, commentator and of course our wonderful tech team. Yes, a couple of the runners are also helping out behind the scenes. Um, and then I'll be back in just a little bit. I don't understand. I don't understand it myself. What's that? Quo said, someone leaking on stream. Uh, I hope someone. this does not mean. years. That's about how long it takes for a kid to grow up. And a lot can change in that time. Since the year 2000, 30 million more people have fled their homes due to conflict, the most in history. But in that same time span, 
caring individuals and organizations like Save the Children have made positive change for children. 50 million more kids reached their fifth birthday. And 49 million more kids have healthy food. 94 million fewer kids were forced into harmful labor. And 115 million more kids are in school. 11 million fewer girls were forced to marry. 3 million fewer girls gave birth. And 12,000 fewer children were killed by violence. All this positive change, rippling from one childhood to the next. Imagine how many more lives we can change in our lifetime. I only know that because of a uh, company of heroes too. <laughs> Makes for a great line though. Not one step back. Comrades. Generals. <laughs> field marshals. Maybe even. I bring to you. CC Never Ender on the commentary and running. Command and Conquer General Zero Hour, the General's Challenge, is Sketch TV. Take it away. We will love to see you succeed, General. <laughs> hey, um, hello, everyone. Um, yep, like, uh, like, uh, like the host said, my name is Sketch, and uh, commentating for me will be CC. So um, we'll be. Yo, yo. Yeah, uh, we'll be doing. Um, we'll be playing this game. Uh, Command and Conquer Generals. We are playing a uh, a category called the Generals Challenge. Um, CC, would you like to talk a little bit more about this one? Sure. Um, so Command and Conquer is uh, one of my favorite games, as some of y'all maybe know. Um, but we're going to be doing a game mode called a Generals Challenge, which, uh, long story short, there are three different factions, and this is an expansion pack of the original game. Um, and in the expansion pack that added three specialty generals for every faction. Um, and so every general has their own little personality and their own specialty and whatever they kind of, uh, whatever they, they specialize, you know. So we're going to be playing as the laser general today. Am I correct? That's right. Okay. And we're going to be playing against every other general um, in, a, in like a sort of a gauntlet of seven different um, really cool uh, skirmish matches. And uh, yeah, we're playing on the hardest difficulty today, and uh, sketch whenever you're ready. All right, so uh, our game uh, time starts when we press the play button. Uh, so we're gonna do that in three, two, one, and go. General Tau versus General Granger. Bombs away. And we're on the way. And we're off. Be advised. This <sighs> All right, so first things first, we are up against, we are up against, uh, this is the Air Force General, Malcolm Granger. This one in particular is really interesting. So this guy has got a full base. He's like all, you know, dug into this cliffside area. And, uh, you know, normally a head-on assault would just be a certain death. But uh, we're going to do something really interesting. So Sketch is going to build a bunch of units here. And the fun thing about this game is that um, like certain units have special abilities, and the basic infantry unit, which is the Marine, has the ability to capture buildings. Um, it requires a little bit of time, and uh, they have to be next to the building itself, but they can actually uh, capture them and, and, and take them for themselves. And what we're going to do is we are going to cleverly get behind enemy lines with a couple of Marines really quickly, and we're going to capture some of his power plants. And that's going to take his power offline, and he's not going to have enough power to supply all of his defenses. And what ends up happening is that um, his whole base is just going to shut down, and we're just going to be able to waltz on in and just take it over. So um, it's really fortunate. This is one of the only uh, generals that we can do that with. Uh, most of the other ones have a lot more units around, but because he's the Air Force General, um, all of his planes are, you know, quote-unquote off-screen somewhere. And um, he gives us a few minutes to sort of get situated before he'll attack us. 
Um, but that means that he has nobody in his base to defend from any units. The game did not expect anyone to get into this base in, like, under two minutes. Yeah, that's about right. So we're gonna we're gonna drop these bunch of rangers off. Um, they are going to turn off the power, and that is gonna render his defenses uh, completely helpless against the rest of our rangers that just go in to capture everything else. Uh, ideally, we want to do this in two waves of captures. Um, give me a moment. Let me. Yeah, sometimes these rangers they don't like to cooperate very well. Let's see how this goes. One. Okay, good. So all aboard. And yeah, we should be able to capture everything. Uh, well, just two, just two power plants is, not, is enough to take them down. Uh, now we're going to drop everyone off, drop the boys off. There you go. Okay. I should uh, also reiterate while you're doing this. Um, uh, in case you hadn't noticed, this game is a real-time strategy game, which is a genre that kind of kind of hasn't you know been around um, lately. Uh, it was really, really popular back in the, uh, you know, like, 90s and early 2000s, stuff like that. It's one of the um, one of the older uh, video game genres, but it's kind of been replaced by, like, MOBAs nowadays. But anyways, um, not a lot of uh, real-time strategy games. But the, the main point, as you can probably tell, is that um, the objective is to build buildings and then build units and uh, take out the enemy's base and units. Right, so it's it's more or less sort of like a um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, like a military strategy kind of simulator. That's what I'm looking for. Simulator. Yeah, that's, that's the word. Yeah. So. Kinda, oh, yeah, we never right. actually we never actually talked about the victory condition over here. So the victory condition is to basically destroy or well capture. Um, the enemies, most of the enemies' base structures, uh, base defenses mm. don't count. You can you can, you can ignore them, and yeah, and thank God for that. Um, <laughs> yeah. um, so there are a couple of buildings that don't count, um, and a couple of um, well, yeah, a couple of buildings that don't count. In the meantime, we're gonna do this mission. Um, CC, do you want to fill in on this one? This one is a bit hectic yeah. for me, so I'm gonna need to uh, yeah, zone you it for a bit. Yeah. Uh, to sort of finish your thought from last time, we can ignore base defenses, and there are certain buildings, like I think resource kind of gathering buildings. Not all of them, but some of them. Um, so there are a couple of like auxiliary buildings we don't have to worry about. Um, but Sketch knows all of the required buildings to uh, to win, so uh, we're just gonna be focusing on those. But this one is really interesting. Um, so last one was kind of a freebie. We can get through that one really quickly. This one is going to be a much harder, much, uh, you know, more difficult fight. Because we're going to have to actually, like, you know, defend waves and waves of enemies here. So this is the tank general. And he has this really big, broad, open field, right? And uh, there's just so many lines of attacks that he can take that it's going to be a lot easier for us if we sort of spread ourselves out a bit more. And so uh, Sketch is going to sell his command center, which is like his main base area. Um, and he's, that's, that's going to give us more resources so that he can build a whole bunch of these supply depots here. And these helicopters are going to go around and collect supplies. And we're gonna, just going to have a whole bunch of them all over the place. And that's going to help us build an economy um, because we need to have a lot of money in order to continuously pump out enough units in order to defend. So we're kind of building a couple of little side bases and and just wherever we can find little piles of resources, we're going to be building essentially a small base. And um, he's going to be sending a bunch of units here. Um, but so we're going to get in these uh, buildings. Infantry can get inside of these um, these sort of standalone buildings and, uh, and barricade them. And it increases their fire rate and their range. So they actually are really, really useful. And if you put tank hunters, or not tank hunters, the RPG guys um, in there, they... Missile uh, defenders. They, missile defenders. I always forget the names. Well. Yeah. But, but um, yeah, if you, uh, if, you, if you fill them up with the missile defenders, um, they can just, just deal absolute havoc against uh, tanks and stuff. So, um, the, what's actually, what the, his first units that he's going to send over are entirely random. Yeah, uh, we have a couple of, yeah, we have a, a few ideas of what they're going to be. So we're kind of trying to prepare for a couple of different things. 
We really don't want the Overlord, uh, which is like the big, big tank. <laughs> one in 12 chance, yeah. One yeah. in 12 chance, sorry. Um, one in 12 chance, there you yeah. go. Um, but uh, everything else is pretty manageable. But yeah, that uh, we really don't want to see that Overlord. Um, but yeah, in the meantime, we're just going to be building up our defenses while we build up a second base off on the top left area. Uh, oh, okay. See, there's just a couple of infantry, so that's not too bad. And yeah. then I think we're going to see... I'm just track. crossing my fingers and hoping... Oh, um, these guys are here. Okay, good for us. Um, so, these guys are fine. You see this ECM tank? This is called the ECM tank. Electronic yeah, it's countermeasures. Little, little... Ah, there you go. I never knew what that stood for. Um, the little satellite dish on wheels. And uh, you'll notice that what it does is it makes missiles not hit their target, so they just start kind of going all over the place. Okay, you really want to get rid of those because it is like impossible to hit anything with those around. This is not good. This is not good. I've lost. Okay, I've lost that vehicle. Um, I've lost that there building. Oh well, it's fine. You see, the, you see these guys. They don't really move around that much. Um, I like to keep this center building because it gives me access to both sides. This is not good. Come on, kill him, please. Thank you. Okay. Um. The good thing is that these guys don't really move around. Their AI is not very clever. They, they like to send around there, so uh, I can just take my time blowing them up. Ooh, can we blow this up, please? Thank you. Okay, that's better. Now we can just get back in there. The ECM tank is dead, so we should be able to target... Uh, yeah, they, they should be straight shooters now, so yeah, that's fine. Oh, come on! Rude! Okay, um, so... <laughs> they did not get enough health back. <laughs> yeah. Come on, Dozer, do your job. Um, can we just get a cap on this? No, apparently not. Okay, now I'm gonna have to actually pay attention to this side of the base now. Um, so the idea, what we want to do right now is, uh, we want to set up a basic defensive line. That's the first thing. Um, the second thing is to get, uh, hang on, uh, is to get, to build up a small, well, an army here to counter attack. Um, Okay, so this is another thing I can do as well to... Uh, the ECM tank, um, it has two attacks. The first one is to mess with, the, is to mess with missiles, uh, as you saw over there. Uh, the second thing it does is it can, uh, it can project a beam to, take, to, to knock out... Um, well, to disable my units, uh, to disable my tanks. Uh, Dozer counts as a tank. Um, but when it shoots that beam, um, the, uh, it's... Uh, what's it? it it's... The, the missile scrambling thing goes do down. Counter. Yeah, yeah, yeah the yeah. missile scrambling thing goes down. So you can, so you can, you can. What you can do is you can bait out, um, you can bait out that thing. Uh, you can bait out the scrambler, and yeah, so that's what I just did with that dozer over there. So it works wonderfully. Hold on, I think okay. This this guy normally runs out real quick, so we're gonna set that up right now. We are, we're just gonna right. set up our production. Um, I normally like to get three, uh, four war factories, but three is fine as a start, I guess. Oh gosh, these guys are here. Um, yeah, there's a, there's, you'll notice that there's a whole lot of just uh, sort of scrambling, and this one in particular, um, just because the the amount of stuff they can throw at us is just all over the place, and uh, it requires a uh, really solid strategy and a really steady hand to. Uh, to be able to take care of this, you know, to hand, handle it in, in stride and keep going. So, um, playing on the hardest difficulty is, as you can imagine, pretty difficult. Um, they have uh, full use of, like, all of their war factories and stuff like that. So, um, they are, uh, yeah, they're uh, they're pretty pretty strong. They're, they're, it's a little busted, you know, they're a little OP. Uh, they're just going to keep sending a bunch of dudes at us. But, you know what, we're going to stand our ground and we're going to take care of it. Hey. So one thing uh, that's going to happen soon, so we're just going to take out some of their base defenses because those are pains in the ass. Yep. We do be gaming. Um, one thing that's going to happen, um, and we'll get closer to it, but um, this general in particular has what's called a panic script. Uh, essentially what happens is that once they notice that there are units in their base that are like attacking their units, it'll like scramble all of the units that they have built in their base. As you notice, there were a couple of clusters of of units that were just hanging out waiting to be used um, and as soon as that panic script happens um, they're gonna all funnel out to whatever the closest 
like uh, enemy unit is, which is us, right? And that's going to be the base in the top left. So all of their units are going to start pouring out straight over there. And you'll notice that Sketch has, is slowly building an army over here um, that looks like it's going to be able to take on their all of their units. So they're going to just pour all of their units right into our waiting arms, you know, and then we're just going to... We're just going to decimate them, and then we're going to go from there straight into their base. Okay. But we're still getting set up here. Getting a couple of uh, helper units. Go ahead. Yeah. I have made a minor mistake. <laughs> uh, what I'm supposed to do is I'm supposed that. to get the Pathfinder, and I did not get the Pathfinder. It's not a big deal. It just means that um, I'm going to have a bit more trouble against infantry. Uh, shouldn't be a big issue as long as I have Avengers though, because um, the only infantry I have to worry about are tank hunters, and tank hunters use missiles, and these Avengers are anti-missile units, so um, as long as I keep my Avenger count healthy, we should be fine, I think. Um, <laughs> and anyway, so this is where the panic script comes into play. We're just going to use a bomber, we're going to use this bomber to trigger that panic script, uh, that's the first thing. And since and while we've got a bomber in the base, we're just going to use him to blow up this uh, well this this bunker because I hate this bunker. Um, it's got tank hunters inside, and they tend to give me a bad time. Uh, let's see here. One. Okay, I need a fourth war factory. Did not. Ah, there we go. Okay, so uh, we're gonna start what I like to call a parade push. Okay, we're just gonna we're gonna get a whole bunch of laser tanks and. It's gonna be lit. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah. Lit indeed. Okay, now we just move in. Kinda. Oh, the the boys are here. The boys are back in town. Um. Okay. Okay, we should probably back up. <laughs> we should probably back up. It's gonna be. There's gonna be more where that came from. Yeah, so those ECMs are really, like I said, they can scramble or they can disable uh, vehicles. And uh, when there's a whole bunch of them, it can be, get a little, little dicey here. Mm -hmm. It's okay. okay. We um, got this, though. The good news is we got 5 star. Now we can get Pathfinders. Uh, let's see, what else can we do? Uh, you know what, we'll just do this. Because I really don't like these guys. Ooh, look at that. Louie, there we go. Okay, I think we can just get in there. Oh, you do that. Um, one thing you'll notice in this game is that as you get more, like as the match goes on, um, killing stuff gives you like uh, your general experience, which is your like your star level, um, and that gives you access to a couple of different like perks or um, special abilities. Um, for USA in particular, we're gonna get um, like that fuel airdrop was like a, a big um, special attack that we can do. Uh, we can also get a um, it's like an AC-130 kind of ship, gunship that'll fly in a circle and attack a bunch of different things. Um, you can get like radar scans or like you can get infantry drops, stuff like that. So there's a bunch of different things we're gonna get. Um, that's gonna be really important. Um, having certain levels or having certain abilities with those levels is gonna be um, gonna be like what's gonna turn the tide and, and help us like really take out a bunch of stuff really quickly. Um, so and it also unlocks certain units as as we mentioned. Now we are in their base and we are just pushing through. You know we've we've essentially pushed through their outer defenses and now that we've got an army in their base, we're just gonna start taking out all of the buildings that are the required building. So okay, we with the with the barracks the down. These guys don't matter anymore. These Pathfinders, they don't matter anymore. So, um, yeah, you know what? I, I don't want them in the way. Come on. So, I normally like to split my army into two groups at this point. The first group um, the first group pushes in as hard as they can. They try and, this is their end goal. Uh, the second group, well, they push this way and try and hit the command center. So, uh, that's exactly what I'm going to do right now. Um, I, I like to improvise a bit on the fly here. Um, it, it doesn't really matter. The, like, in the grand scheme, it doesn't really matter. The whole point is, at the, at the end of the day, you just want to blow everything up. Uh, it, it just makes it a bit more streamlined that way, I guess. Like, things like this. Uh, and at this point, we're just cleaning up and trying to make sure that we've got all the buildings. In this, uh, in this mission, uh, strange, peculiarly enough, uh, this building does not count. 
I'm not sure how, I'm not sure why, but it just doesn't. And that's it. Nice. All right. A little dicey there in the middle, but we got it. All right. What's next? It's uh, Thrax. All right. Next up is the Toxic General. Toxic. General. Toxic. And no, he doesn't play League of Legends, but uh, so he uses a bunch of different uh, poisons and things like that. He's really good against anti-infantry, and he also does a bunch of like damage over time things. Um, the poison doesn't have as much of an effect on things like tanks, and there is no poison for uh, uh, infantry. No, sorry, infantry. Uh, Air Force. Sorry. So... Okay, one thing, another thing you'll, um, in particular about this mission is that, uh, his, um, his building count is actually pretty low compared to most of the other missions. Uh, this is also true of another GLA general, which we will get to see later on. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna, um, we're gonna do a sort of surgical strike or, um, as I would, as I've come to start calling it lately, um, shock and awe. So, we will... <laughs> yeah, shock and awe, that's right. Uh, so, because there aren't that many buildings to destroy, and his buildings have this um, have this mechanic called the hole, a uh, jelly hole, and um, we're going to we're going to destroy we're going to destroy what we can um, using a couple of Comanches. We're going to probe in on this side. His anti-air is lacking. These are anti-air buildings. They are seriously lacking. Um, on the right side, right hand side of the base, okay. so we can take these three buildings um, with just uh, a bunch of chop helicopters, and yeah, so we're gonna take those down using that first, and then we are going to destroy the rest of the buildings using um, using various means. You'll see in a little bit uh, yeah. a mix of bombers, a weapon strike. Um, okay, see, I, I gotta focus on this one. Yep, you did thing. Okay. Um, so. Uh, one thing you might have noticed is, uh, like I said, there are three different factions. We're playing USA. Last mission, we played against China. And this mission, we're playing against the GLA, which is like a terrorist sort of group. They use, like, guerrilla tactics and things like that. Um, they have, like, these tunnel networks where they can sort of go in one tunnel and appear out of any other tunnel, like, instantly. It's, uh, it's a pretty cool and pretty interesting uh, faction. Um, but one of the things that they feature is that um, some of their or all of their buildings um, have two different health bars. Once you destroy the first health bar, it kind of becomes this um, nondescript GLA hole, and uh, you have to destroy the second. You have to destroy the hole as well. Otherwise, it'll automatically rebuild itself over time. Um, so you have to destroy buildings twice, essentially. Um, what that means is that for units that would like drop a big bomb on it or something that only deals damage one time. Um, you don't get the, the benefit of destroying the hole as well, and it'll just rebuild itself. Um, but that does count as a victory condition if all their buildings are the holes instead. So, um, what we're going to do is, he mentioned earlier, the anti-air is really lacking on one side of the base. So we're going to use some uh, helicopters and get behind enemy lines. And we're going to wait for them to sort of clear out a bunch of places. And then uh, we're going to, you know, we're going to go in from the other side as well and we're going to use a whole bunch of different things to get all of the buildings all at once so that we don't have to worry about um, sending in a huge force we're just going to send in a bunch of smaller groups to take things out um, as we go um, one thing that's important is that on this side of the stage um, there is this uh, war factory it's an arms dealer I believe for the GLA but um, that's the thing that builds tanks and that um, we, you can't destroy it because they're going to rebuild it and even if it's just like the blueprint version, um, it still uh, it still, it still counts. counts as a building yeah. we have to destroy. Yeah. It's really obnoxious. You have to it's very it, the moment the the moment the construction site comes up, it just counts. So you have to you and you have to you have to send something in to take it down. And mm -hmm. yeah, it, and you'll have it makes to. It's easier for us to just capture it. Mm -hmm. Because then they can't rebuild it. That's, okay, cool. We're just gonna hold that. Okay, wait. On, um, okay, so, so those helicopters have been making their way around the side, and now what, what's up? Yep. Uh, so now we're going to now we're going to execute the second phase of this mission. Um, 
hang on, we're just making sure the bombers are working. Okay. Let's see here. We'll just get such and destroy because why not? Um, yeah, that was shock. This is R. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> um, okay, so let's finish this bit. And so what we're going to do is we're going to send a ranger to capture this command center. We are going to send a bomb. Oh, oh, I'm losing guys. No. Oh, shucks. Okay. Um, we're going to need a bit more bombers for this then. Hang on. Row, row. On. So they do have anti-air uh, units uh, that can move around, and so uh, they sort of were uh, forming somewhere else, and they saw the helicopters and they took them out. The AI isn't good enough to respond like that normally, but uh, uh, they just so happened to be in the wrong place in the wrong time, and they got called out for it. Um, that's okay. It's okay. We'll take care of it. Okay. Uh, let's hope these guys just go away. Please just go away. <laughs> um, okay, so what's gonna happen is, um, let's see here. Okay, I just hope he does not rebuild, because if he rebuilds, that will be more work for me. Um, one, two, three. Okay, so it's one bomber for this, two bombers for this, one bomber for this. Okay, we got it. So I'm just gonna start capping. I'm just going to continue building bombers here in the meantime. Should be enough. Um, yeah. Okay. That uh, that command center is has a lot of health. It's actually a lot faster to just capture it because it takes like, what, 10 something seconds? So we're going to do that. And in the meantime, um, because we've destroyed like all their other buildings, we are just going to drop a couple of these sort of precision bombers on... Um, on the buildings in particular. Okay, okay, so he's going to destroy that and we're just going to bam, bam, bam. Okay, good. We got that. We got this one. And that's it. Whew, that was close. There you go. <laughs> oh. I don't normally... Okay, I don't always lose those Comanches, but when I do, it gets awkward. Like that. Kind of like that. Yeah. But I'm just glad we managed to clear that out. Absolutely. And they, it seemed like they did most of their work, so it wasn't like it was a terribly hard thing to recover from. But yeah, yeah it's stuff like that is like... What you don't understand, or what might not be a, a readily apparent watching that, is um, like one small mistake in the strategy can result in like you have to spend another 10 minutes building up an army to go back in and do it again, right? Yeah. So one of the really the things about the speed run in particular is that making sure to you, your strategy works and like actually goes through is a huge deal because any sort of misstep can really set you back a long time. And it's especially true for that mission because um, because he Doctor Threx does not miss a beat when it comes to rebuilding stuff. He is he rebuilds really aggressively. So uh, mm. yeah, just I'm just happy that it worked out. Hell yeah! All right, okay. now we are up against the nuke general. Um, as you might have noticed from the two nuclear missiles he launched at us in the opening <laughs> cutscene here. Um, but uh, the nuke general has uh, a couple of interesting quirks. Well, first of all, um, this whole area has a ton of resources, so we're going to be building a bunch of resource stuff. Um, but two, um, the nuclear general does not rebuild any of his buildings, uh, which is kind of an interesting thing. Most generals always rebuild, but he does not, which means that sort of like repeated little hit and run strikes can work. What we're going to do is we're going to do a bunch of sort of like behind the scenes, behind enemy lines. Um, slowly destroying some of his buildings and that's just going to put him further and further in the hole and he's not going to rebuild so uh, that is one of the more interesting aspects of of this level in particular but he's going to be we're going to be building a bunch of resource gathering on the three main uh, supply depots on the on the left side here and including one on the upper ridge we do have to defend that one because he's going to keep sending uh, helicopters to destroy that but in the meantime we're going to set up a do you goes set here any first. defenses? Uh, yeah, yeah, we're, we're set up. Um, we're gonna set up uh, this barracks here. This barracks is gonna be our meat shield, and we're gonna build four missile defenders. Uh, so what's gonna happen is a, a couple of his helicopters are gonna show up. Uh, they're gonna try and wreck my stuff. I'm gonna wreck his stuff first. I'm gonna wreck his helicopters yeah. first. Yeah, that's the idea. Okay, we can capture these now. These are gonna give me a lot of money, so um, make sure you capture them as early as possible. Hmm. And yeah. 
I don't know if we ever talked about it, those oil derricks. Um, but so like rangers can capture um, buildings, right? And every, not every map, but almost every map has these little um, neutral buildings in the middle that anyone can go capture and they're very helpful. Um, oil derricks in particular give you $2,000 on capture as well as $200 every like minute or so. And it ends up um, being surprisingly a lot of money over time, especially when there's multiple, like it's actually a huge amount of money. Um, it's very important towards your economy to make sure you capture those. Um, there's also things that like reduce the price of vehicles. Um, so you can build more uh, more tanks and things like that pretty cheaply. Um, there's also a couple ones that like auto repair or stuff like that. But anyways, we'll, we'll, we'll kind of move on from that. But um, those oil derricks are really, are really, really important to, uh, to our strategy. Yep, that's right. Okay, um, so now... Don't mind me, I'm just executing. Um, okay, this guy's done his job, we can move over now. Yeah, these nuke cannons are particularly um, annoying to deal with. We're gonna take them out. They don't do any anti-air, so we're just gonna can't come in with a helicopter and take them out. Um, speaking of no anti-air, is uh, that side of his base has is rather lacking in, in anti-air as well. And like I said, they don't rebuild any of their buildings, so we're just gonna slowly but surely chip away at that side of the base. And um, we're going to be sending somebody in, somebody to do, uh, you know, the, the heavy lifting for us. Okay, um, I think this looks good for now. Okay, we're just going to pick these two reactors because it's just out of range and yeah, why not? Okay, airfield's done. Okay, now we're going to... Now we're gonna do some fighting. Um, so we're gonna get Colonel Burton. Colonel Burton is like this commando guy. He can climb here. He can he can scale cliffs. He has this burst fire uh, weapon, which for some reason can destroy buildings. So um, yeah, it, it's just an assault rifle, man. What's up with that? Yeah. Whatever. Anyway. Well, he's he's Rambo, right? Like the whole idea is that he's like, oh, I'm this big tough dude. I'm here to take him out, right? He's got a knife that can stealth kill. He's got like charge, or, uh, uh, timed dem like demolitions. He can put like a thing of TNT on something and blow it up. And he's um, gonna do it left-handed. <laughs> yeah, there you go. And uh, he's got a big gun. That he can climb up walls and stuff like that. So he's he's kind of busted, but um, in particular, he's really strong and and he's and he's stealth, right? So he can go in. He's invisible and he can just start taking things out. So very very handy. Okay, so he's gonna climb up here. He's gonna take down this Gatling cannon first. Uh, he's gonna prove to be quite a distract. Ooh, okay, wait, wait, I don't want him to die. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna get our first wave of bombers. Um, there's something we gotta take down. We gotta take down his production. His war factory is gonna start pro um, start producing battle masters, and he will eventually progress to overlords. We don't want him to progress to overlords um, because that's bad. He also progresses in new cannons as well. But um, which, if you're playing this casually. Usually you end up dying to that, um, but yeah. So we're just gonna make sure that that, that does not happen for us. Let's see, war factory is dead. There we go. Okay. Uh, we also want to get rid of this Gatling cannon. Uh, this Gatling blowing up that Gatling. Oh no! Um, the game just broke. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> yeah, I was worried this would happen. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, no problem. We're just gonna. I'm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna start up. ASAP. 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 The game just yeah, broke. luckily, luckily, uh, the game does auto save um, at the start of every match, so we can just restart from the nuke general. So that is a uh, a few minutes lost, unfortunately. Yeah, uh, we do have good time though. We still have pretty good time, right? Yeah, we're so fine. We should, yeah, yeah, yeah we should be fine. General <laughs> so uh, yeah, this game did come out in two thousand and two. Um, Three. It is. Uh, it's about twenty years old. It's older than some of the people in chat. <laughs> Um, <laughs> and, uh, it has its problems, you know, we still love it, you know, even, right, even for its flaws. Um, but one of the things is that it does not run very well on modern hardware. We, uh, there are a few like fan patches and things like that, that let people play the competitive, um, game modes online with other people, um, sort of after all the servers have gone down. Uh, but one of the things is that the game does crash on occasion. Um, I know that the uh, Laser General map in particular is really buggy for that. 
Um, and I, I, I guess Nuke General is also one for that too. Apparently so, so yeah. Okay. Um, what, was, what was I going to talk about? Oh, well, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Let's do this. Yeah. All right. So you may have noticed that this is the Nuke General from the nukes that launched in the thing. Oh, I'm not going to redo the whole thing exactly, but. Uh, I, oh, we have, oh, now I've forgotten everything. i got to build the barracks here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> One crash and the whole thing is off course. No, yeah. Right. No, we're good now. Okay. So, chat, how's everybody doing? Hope you're all enjoying this Saturday. Saturday afternoon speedrun marathon. We're supporting Save the Children, by the way. Don't forget. If you haven't donated already, please consider donating. Because we have very good cons. Oh yeah, I also wanted to mention that uh, this uh, this game had quite a rush dev cycle, so um, a lot of things, a lot of things, a lot of cut content, a lot of rush, a lot of things that were clearly rushed, like for example the fact that he does not, uh, Nuke General does not rebuild his structures. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Also, I mentioned that uh, we're playing against every other general, but Upgrade. technically, two generals never got their own stages: the demolition general and the uh, infantry general, which is from GLA and China, respectively, did not get their own special mission. So, uh, um, clearly, there was a couple things that were cut out for time. Um, and to be fair, this is an expansion pack of an already existing game, so they had the base level game already put out. <coughs> I think that it came out the year before, and uh, if you know anything about the timeline of that, um, the game originally came out um, around 2001, which happened right after 9-11, or right around 9-11, so I think a lot of times, or at least a lot of the, the campaign is really inspired by um, by the, 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 sen the sentiments, yeah, the war on terror in particular, and just the sentiment of the time, which was like, we have to go in there, we gotta liberate, we gotta deliver some freedom, which, you know. Let's give him democracy. You know, it hasn't quite <laughs> aged, hasn't quite aged well, especially 20 years later. Um, but uh, we'll stay out of that cesspool. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, get, we'll get away from that for a minute. Um, but anyways, yeah. Uh, uh, we haven't really talked about it much. This is we're playing on the hardest difficulty that the game offers, right? Um, which means that they are going to produce more enemies. They have more structures. Um, all of their super weapons have shorter timers, um, like the nukes and the lasers and, and the missiles and things that they have are all on shorter timers. Um, and the AI attacks a lot more fiercely. Um, and it's a super hard category to run. Sketch here is one of the few people to actually really like dig in to the hard difficulties. We've had a couple of professional players um, who have sort of done one challenge mode run and then called it a day um and i'd like to see them come back one day but i don't think they will but um but sketch here is uh is the best to do it i mean we got a couple people who run easy mode like me in particular i run easy mode because i'm a big baby who can't handle the big boy strats but uh <laughs> but yeah this uh this game is is actually super hard and it's unfair how hard it is but uh but Sketch knows what the hell he's doing. So, you know, it, we got, uh, no, we got a professional die. enemy. Don't die. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. No. I, I don't care if you die, so I don't care if you lose or die. So. <laughs> okay, never I love this game. <laughs> this game's great, dude. I love this game. For sure. Okay, uh, it's fine. Uh, what am I doing now? I'm getting... Oh, I have a strat center. I'm going to get Colonel Burton. I'm going to start getting the bombers. Um, All right, we're, okay. we're we're approaching where we were last time, so we're we're getting back on track. We lost a couple minutes there, but you know, it's just the it's just the will of the game, as it were. Okay, so this guy is good. We're gonna get our bombers in the game. Where are our bombers? I need more bombers. Uh, okay. <clears throat> so we're just gonna try and we're gonna. Okay, good. Um. 
Actually, you know what? No, this guy gets in there now. Get in there, get in there, get in there. Ooh, this is fine, this is fine. <laughs> this is fine. Close call. <laughs> Kaboom! Okay, we got we bought ourselves a bit of time. Um, this so, is fine, dog. Dot JPEG. Yeah, this is fine. <laughs> okay, bombers. We're gonna do that thing again. We're gonna blow up the war factory. Okay. And uh, let's see here. Okay, this guy's gonna blow up this Gatling cannon. Yeah, this is fine. I I I don't I don't normally I. If I, even if I get one building, it's it's good. It's good for me, so... Okay. Okay, get that. Start blowing stuff up. Thank you. Okay. I, uh, I don't have game audio, so I can't hear, but uh, you'll... You guys in the chat will probably hear the uh, the generals have, like, banter. You know? Like, yeah, you try and taunt oh, you. you know. Yeah, <laughs> like, oh, general, you know, your forces are being destroyed. Oh, -ho! you know, something like that. And uh, they're generally very humorous, but uh, so hopefully you guys enjoy hearing that over and over and over again. They will—they are pretty insistent with their with their with their banter, much uh, you know our annoyance. But <laughs> we will destroy them, I promise, and uh, they will—they will regret. And they will regret taunting us. Okay, so I think this is working. This is working for us. Okay, we're gonna send this guy over in. Okay. Come on. This this is radiation. Uh, we can't walk. We don't want to walk into it. It deals a bit of damage over time, and that's not nice to have. So uh, just glad it cleared out so that we can finally go in and do our thing. Um, whew, that was close. <laughs> These guys would have shredded him. Um, okay. Oh, yeah, so. Absolutely. Okay. Now that should be enough. Uh, yeah, that should be it. Okay. We're just gonna continue using the bombers to clean up uh, these buildings. Shouldn't be too difficult. Okay, very specific position. Um, let's see here. We're gonna blow these up as well. On improvise, we'll use this thing. We'll put it here. Okay, go ahead and blow this up. Thank you. Oof, that was close. Um, so what just happened here was uh, he likes to throw an artillery strike some uh, uh, about this time, and uh, yeah. yeah, it landed here. It did not destroy very much, I think. So that's good for us. Very good for us. Yeah. He's still alive. Okay, good. Um, that means we can bring him over here. Uh, you know, if he will. Come on, get in there. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, we'll just get in there. Oh, Thank he's, you. He's gonna get there. Wonderful. There we go. Okay, now he's just gonna shoot stuff. <laughs> 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 okay, wait. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Go away. Yep, go away. Um. Okay, wait. Hang on. Hang on a sec. I'll just shoot it up. Doesn't matter. Um. These guys are gonna shoot this up. Come on. I think that should be okay. These these are the last building, so we're just gonna we're just gonna we're gonna get him. To yeah, whatever we job. have around. Send them over. That's it. There we go. Boom, boom. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So we only lost uh, five minutes. <laughs> but, <you> know, <laughs> only five going. minutes. We we plan for a bit extra time, so I think we're still we're still good, right? I think we're still good. We should be fine. Yeah. Uh, as long as things go well here, which they have the tendency to not do so, but that's all right. We got this. This is the super weapon general, which is probably the hardest general in the entire run here. Um, so General Alexander uh, is really a pain for a couple of reasons. One, um, so her base is entirely on an island and there is no land access. We cannot send any tanks or infantry into their base. It has to be air force. Two, um, she has the most busted uh, base defenses in the entire game in that uh, she has what's called EMP Patriots. So her missile, like missile defense systems, shoot EMP missiles. So anything that's not infantry, so tanks and planes, um, are instantly like disabled. And when planes are disabled, they instantly crash. And it is 100% accurate. 
and super, super instantly deadly for all planes. So um, she will absolutely destroy any sort of attempt that we try to get there. So we have to use a bunch of things to um, bust through her defenses to um, to knock out her power and stuff like that. And that's just really a trouble. Um, also, you might have noticed that Sketch just built a whole bunch of buildings and then destroyed them. Um, what's happening is that uh, third thing is that uh, General Alexander has like is super aggressive and she will constantly um, poke at us and and uh, annoy us. So one of the things she's going to do is she's going to use her A10 strike and we can manipulate where she's going to use that. Um, her timer is linked with that um, particle uplink cannon timer in the top right. So we know when she's going to use it. And whenever she goes to use it, we can build a couple of different buildings. I believe it's something like three buildings in an area or three high value targets in an area. Um, and she will always target those. So what we can do is we can build three buildings really quickly. And then if we destroy them before they're fully built or for, before they're damaged, um, we can get all of our money back. So we can essentially for free build a distraction and she'll tar target that. And then we can destroy them and she can't change target afterwards. So we can manipulate her AI to do that. Um, she's also going to be sending a bunch of like, um, what do you call them? The, uh, the bombers. Oh, the bombers, yeah, yeah the bombers. So you're going to send bombers, so we're going to have a bunch of like units just kind of like out in the field, just hanging out, just chilling, kicking grass, right? And then they're going to get blown the, the hell up. <laughs> Unfortunately, you know, they, uh, they, they died for the cause. Um, also, they're going to be dropping a bunch of like uh, the Chinooks, the, um, the helicopters filled with infantry. They're just going to be dropping off like boatloads of, of people. Here we go. They just got blown up. Those are the homies. Um, those those bombers can't be stopped we have the same bombers by the way uh, which is what we've been using they uh they when they're on their attack run they cannot be damaged which means that you have guaranteed damage when you uh hit however um they will most likely be destroyed instantly because they are very frail after they've dropped off their payload but uh anyways so okay okay we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're still alive. That was close. Um, that was really close. Like, yeah. if if that guy if that guy flies here, he takes this he takes these down. Uh, okay, wait, wait, we've got this. We have to deal with this. Go! Die, die, die! Thank you. Okay. Um, sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> it's uh. Let's, let's, right. get, let's yeah, get back into it. Those guys, those guys will destroy uh, a lot of stuff if you don't take them out really quickly. So, got that taken care of. Luckily for us, um, we can uh, we can run over infantry with uh, with tanks, and that uh, that will kill them all instantly, which is really handy. Sounds kamikaze. It's very kamikaze. I mean, the I think the intention is that you would go in and you blow up everything, and then there's nothing left to take you out when you're on your way back. But um, yeah, it ends up being more like uh, suicide runs. All right, so we're taking care of this oil derrick, and we're just sort of taking over what we can on this island. We don't have a lot of um, you know of real estate to work with, so we're gonna work with everything we can. In the meantime, we're going to be using our uh, our airdrops to drop off some rangers on different islands. We're going to do a little island hopping to take over more stuff. And we're eventually going to uh, sort of get ready to uh, attack their main base. But um, we do have to build up a lot of stuff. Huh? Also, um, yeah, sorry. Your thing. It's okay. Uh, so, okay. so um, we can also manipulate the... Um, Particle can. The Woody the particle cannon as well not just the a10 strike so she always does the same like s pattern um and we can manipulate where she's going to use that pattern um if we if we kind of by the same it's by the same rules essentially uh, we can force her to, to choose he do, she doesn't only shoot that there but that's fine it's fine it's uh Ooh. i don't it didn't cost that much so it's okay i i don't i don't yeah. value i don't value their lives by lives i value their lives by dollars um, <laughs> oh, Capitalism. No, no. Back up, back up. We need this. We need this strategy. Okay, get in there. Get in there. Thank you, please. Please and thank you. Shoot back. What's going on here? I thought like this is so weird. Okay, let me think about this one. Let me think this one through. Um, we are going to get. 
we're gonna bring this Humvee over. Okay. I'm gonna need a I'm gonna need a bit more firepower for this one. Uh, give me a moment. Okay. So let's build these first. Democracy is non-negotiable. <laughs> okay. So get down. Get get. Don't get too close. If you get too close, you die, and that's not good. It's not good for health. Um, let's see here. It's not good for health, it's not good for our money. Yeah, it's not good for money, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> okay, so, get in there, get in there. Okay. Hopefully these, hopefully it doesn't target my Humvee. If it targets my Humvee, that's gonna be a problem. Okay, we're good, we're good. We're fine. Okay, one. Oh. Two particle cannons. I think I need a third. Do I need a third particle? Well, we'll get a third one for safety. Because why not? I was gonna say, you should probably get one, just in case. Yeah. Lord, Lord knows something will happen in the fat one will that'll save us. Yeah. Okay. Um. Hold on a sec. Okay, good. No, well, I don't care for this bomb. Uh, bombers, bombers, bombers. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna do this. We're gonna start by shooting this thing up first. Uh, we want to take out these reactors because she does not rebuild these reactors. Uh, we're gonna make full use of that. We are also going to, since we can't really do much right now, we are just going to drop these guys off here first. We're gonna blow up this building. And um, you, you're gonna not, you're gonna notice that in this game a lot of units are expendable. <laughs> so, yeah. Can we get rid of this guy, please? Okay. Okay. Oh, I was afraid of this. Um, okay, so fine, 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 fine. We're okay. This is okay. Um, so the <laughs> it sound like it's okay. <laughs> it's fine. It's all right. We did. We I've done this before. <laughs> I, yeah, I did this in so the essay. Like it's the same she, exact uh, problem. She constantly harasses us, and if you're not paying attention, she will build units that will just slowly but surely whittle down your, your stuff. And she took out our war factory. She took out the so, wall factory, uh, she took out this oil derrick, and she's gonna blow this up as well. Would you mind helping them gain okay. Some it's fine. It's fine. We, uh, can we blow this up, please? Thank you. That's better. Okay. We'll blow that other channel back okay, home. Okay, good. Um, very good. Okay, we should be good. Can we shoot this up? Um, okay, so I'm not paying attention to the rest of my base right now. Yeah. Things are uh, things are getting a bit hectic here. Well. Things are getting a little loud here. Um, okay, so we're gonna have to repair that then. Uh, we are gonna get. Okay, yeah, we're, we're fine. We're fine. We'll just drop this here. Hopefully, this is gonna work. This better work. <gasps> okay, it's fine. It's fine. We. <laughs> So and now I'm really notice. glad. I'm really glad that we got that we saved this part. We we got a third particle cannon now. <laughs> yeah. See. Yeah. Uh, so like I was saying, uh, this is we're playing on the hardest difficulty, and this boss in particular is the hardest one to run because she will absolutely just take will take us out. Yeah. She will okay. absolutely. If you're not if you're not on your on your ball constantly, she will absolutely destroy you. Um, just because it's not fair, right? That's the thing, is that it's not fair how set up they are and just how um, strong all of her units are and how she's constantly harassing us. It's not fair because we can't do the same back to her. It's but, not fair. You know what? <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. That's uh, it's the speed run, baby. You know, that's what we got to do. And uh, we're going to have to deal with it. So uh, we're going to recover from this. Uh, we do have to worry about, uh, we've kind of taken out most of their, her side structures and things like that, so not much else that we can do. We just have to build up um, uh, an attack large enough to take out her um, her power, and then we can send in some, some air units to, to clear out the rest of her base. Um, but that usually means we have to build our super weapons, which are the particle cannons. She has a stronger version than ours, but we... Um, we can build our own as well that can do plenty of damage you know and uh, and we're gonna take out her base 
in that fashion, and then we'll uh, we'll clear her out, and then we'll keep going. What general is this? Number five. Uh, this is general number five. That's right. That's right. Number five. Okay, I think we are. We're in, we're in a good place now. We're in a good place. So now what we're gonna do is um, now that we've got the defense more or less sorted out. We are going to use... Oh wait, we should probably throw this here, I guess. I will throw it there. Um, can we get a kill on this? Thank you. Um, so, what we're going to do is... We're going to do a sort of one-two punch. Uh, the two particle cannons are going to take down her power. And um, these these nasty EMPs, yeah, they're, they're pow they require power. So we're going to take it down first. Um, and then we're going to sweep in with a whole bunch of Comanches. I'm also getting a couple of bombers. These bombers are here to make sure that um, that things like these um, that I make sh they're there to make sure that I take down enough power. So yeah, we're just gonna do that now. Uh, we're, ju we're just there to make they're just there to make sure that the power stays down because with two particle cannons you take out just enough power, and um, she has this nasty habit of rebuilding stuff using these dozers, uh, rebuilding reactors using these dozers, and. Um, it has happened on a couple of occasions that I, uh, I just lose my, uh, I just lose everything because, uh, she just drops in. Okay, with that air fuel dead, I, these guys don't matter anymore. Uh, so, yeah, good on us. Um, nice. I need to make sure that the, this goes Your particle cannon is gonna happen. Yeah, I, I just need to make sure that I don't lose my, um, my, my reactors again. Okay, now let's just hope that this works. Okay. Okay. And two particle cannons ready. We're gonna do this thing. Hey, that's my particle cannon. Hey, that's my particle cannon. You're not authorized to use it. <laughs> um. Okay. So yeah, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this thing. It's like, oh, I broke a nail. <laughs> But I think I think the power should be down now. Um, no, it's not down. Okay. Um, right toe. That's not a problem. Uh, we're just gonna get a couple more bombers to keep the, to make sure the power goes down. What is going on here? The power normally goes down by now. Did I miss something here? Um, there was one. Oh, there we go. Oh, this reactor. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna wait for the bombers to do their to do their job. Um, and this reactor did not go down either. Man, I should have got. I should have saved. Particle cannon. Oh well, I should have saved <laughs> this guy. Uh, it adds up. All these things add up, man. Oh. Does it does? Okay. And this bad boy is here. Yeah, the music in this game is really good. The um, Command and Conquer composer. I forget what his name is. It's uh, like Frank Lebecki. Oh. Yeah, yeah he's. I'm, I'm thinking of something else. But. Uh, <laughs> oh. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, the composer for Command and Conquer is fantastic. Like in all the games that he's worked on, it's been really, really solid. Okay, the power is down right now, but I do not want to go in at the moment because, um, yeah, I do not want to go in because you saw those guys rebuilding. Yeah, they can. The power just went back up. I just heard the sound. There you go. Let's say, yeah, the power is only down for just a little bit mm -hmm. um, while they rebuild stuff. But we're gonna take it out, and uh, when that's ready, we're gonna send in all our helicopters and take everything down. Oh yeah, see, they're rebuilding really quick. Okay, now we're gonna get ready for this. Ah, the power's down now. There we go. We got two. We got two reactors with that. Uh, we don't have much time. We gotta get in there. As Ooh, look at that! Wow, that was a light show. Um, okay, okay. That was quite. A Why light does show. she have fifteen Avengers? <laughs> okay, we're gonna we're gonna just get in there. We're gonna take down the power first. Um, kill this guy because I. Yeah, this guy in particular. Okay. Die, thank you. Okay. Yeah, so this is the final phase. We're just we're just here to clean up the buildings. He has the cleanup crew. Um how about those rocket parts? Let's do this. Ah, whatever. Okay. Tell you what. Since he is here, I don't appreciate that kind of disrespect. Okay, we're waiting for you. This is not going to work. Uh, well, I'll just put it here. Um, A10s. Um, 
the 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 weapon strike I was I was thinking about it's a it's an A10 strike, and uh, it uses missiles and. These guys can take out missiles as well, so I was thinking whether I want to do it or not. Nah. Oh, can We're almost shoot done. Those missiles too? Sorry? Um, they can shoot the I, A10 missiles? Yeah, they can take down the A10 missiles. Huh. I had no idea. Yep. And with that many Avengers, uh, no effect. Yeah, nothing gonna it, it's gonna no sell. <laughs> <laughs> no sell, man. Alright. Hey, yeah. well, you know what? We got through. Uh, we got through Alexander. So. No resets, we're good. We got it. This is the second to last one. We have this one and then the final. So this is uh, Prince Kassad, followed by uh, General Lang. And Kassad is the stealth general. So uh, um, for the uh, the faction that's all about guerrilla warfare, um, the Harambe warfare, we have, uh, we have the stealth version. So all of their units are or almost all of their units are invisible. Um, they can make their buildings invisible. Um, it's kind of a too soon. <laughs> all right. He will live forever in our hearts. <laughs> okay, so one thing about this mission is that the base is split into two parts. So we need to come mm. up with... Um, we have a strategy to deal with each part of the base, uh, each, each part of his entire base uh, separately. And um, I've yet to figure out a better way to, uh, to try and combine both of them. Uh, the best I've figured out is to keep them, s to, to, to handle them separately, uh, but to try and do them so quickly that I don't have to um, coordinate between, uh, between taking both sides of the base simultaneously. Um, mm -hmm. Because, you know, if you multitasking is not one of my strong suits, and a real time strategy <laughs> game is all about multitasking. So. <laughs> So nobody's good at multitasking. You just gotta get better at it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so there's like like I said, there's two different bases. We gotta take them out, and um, so we kind of have to have two different strategies for that. One's gonna be like more of a precision, like stealth, not stealthy, but more of like a sort of behind lines, sort of like a cheesy strat. We are going and the other one's gonna be just a straight up invasion. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna invade his back door first. Um, oh, so, my. oh my! <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, so we're gonna we're gonna prepare a small insertion squad, and uh, oh gosh, I, I, I'm not I'm not doing this. Um, um, okay, so we're gonna we're gonna prepare a, a bunch of guys. They are going to um, and and a chinook. I'm gonna load them up in the chinook, and these guys are going to land behind so we're gonna land behind here and then they'll just um, capture everything capture and destroy everything from within so yeah okay what am i doing now um gonna blow up there's a stinger side here so we're just gonna blow it up slowly we're gonna kill him slowly and i need a chin up so this guy that's what this guy's for okay that one's done Okay, so this is our squad. We're gonna just throw them in there. We're taking a path that uh, skips most of the base, most of the RPGs. Uh, flying over the building, surprisingly enough, is the best way to do it. So yeah, there we go. And these guys are here, and we're gonna have some fun. Oh yeah, one one very important thing I forgot. We're gonna get a spy drone. So spy drone helps us spot all these buildings. Yes. Yeah. Like I said, he can turn all of his buildings invincible, invisible, sorry. And uh, yeah, it's uh, it's really important that we have some something that can detect stealth. Um, there's a lot of stuff that you need to do. You have to be able to detect stealth for it. Um, you can technically attack these buildings like by forcing them to attack a certain location. Um, but like I said, the, the fast the, sometimes the fastest way to destroy a building is to just capture it and keep it for yourself. So that's what we're gonna be doing back here. Um, I ran this game, I ran the campaign last year, no, it was at launch party, that's what it was, um, earlier this year at launch party, and one of the things that's really interesting is that, uh, Chinooks play a huge role in the campaign as well, because Chinooks are just really busted, the fact that you can deliver, uh, up to eight units, 
right? Which is like a couple of vehicles or eight infantry. Um, and just like quickly deliver them anywhere on the map. And if you can avoid, you know, anti-air, you can literally deliver units like anywhere on the map in a very short amount of time. So uh, they're uh, really, really strong for that. And uh, and you can see their their use here in the in this speeder in particular, where you can literally just I'm going to drop off a bunch of infantry behind enemy lines, and they're just going to destroy the entire base. Everything. Yeah, that's right. You know, eight men are going to take out this entire base. <laughs> so, you know, I mean, think about that. It's like a it's like a movie, you know, an action movie. Yeah, exactly. Action movies, right? Okay. Um. So with uh, we've we've dealt with the hot part of this mission, uh, this 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 uh, this this base invasion. Uh, so now we can start focusing on building up an army, and uh, what that means for us is, mm, let me think about this for a sec. Um, okay, there's a s rebel ambush. There we go. Okay, um, and we're just gonna send in the path the, the snipers to deal. Well, actually, we'll send this guy to deal with it, and. Um, Soon, there's going to be a sneak attack. The sneak attack is not going to spawn here because this thing is in the way. Probably going to spawn here instead. Oh no, okay, well, there was space after all. Uh, we're fine. <laughs> okay, we're good, we're good. Uh, I did mention that the GLA can use tunnels to, like, appear wherever they want, whenever. And uh, this is one of their abilities. They can, like, just force a secret tunnel out of the ground, like, pretty much anywhere. And, uh... Yeah, so that's one of their their tricks is that they can just pop up out of nowhere and just unload a, an army really quickly. Okay, there's a bunch of guys here. Okay, while well, those guys do their thing. Um, okay. Yeah, I should be fine. Yeah, so he has like a full base on the bottom and on the top. So he has a command center and a palace and like arms dealer and uh, barracks and stuff like that. Um, so he has he has a full set over here, and we have to take out the whole thing. Um, I don't think he will rebuild the palace at least. No, he won't rebuild um, the palace. Yeah, he would rebuild the other buildings, I think. Maybe I don't know. It's been a while. But anyways, so that bottom base is covered. Now the top base is much more heavily fortified. And uh, we're just, what's funny is that we're actually on this one, we're just going to be sending in just an, an army of, of people to take it, take out from the front. Um, this is a unit we don't see very often. It's the microwave tank. Um, kind of in kind of similar fashion to the, um, the ECM from the, from the tank general. The microwave tank has the ability to shoot at um, like base defenses and, and turn them off. It also has the ability to take out uh, garrisoned units and buildings. So, very very handy. Um, just it's going to be really helpful for this one because he's got a bunch of these stinger sights and the stinger sights do a lot of damage. Um, it's fine. It's fine. Fun fact. Because the stinger sights um, are made up of like people with RPGs, um, you can actually use your snipers, which are anti-infantry, to take out the infantry in the base defense, and uh, and take out the the defenses, or essentially render them, uh, you know, useless. So it's actually a really neat little um, what's the word for uh, touch, or uh, you know, little little bit of polish, or is what I'm looking for, but I can't think of it. But anyway. Um, just the fact that they took the time to be like, oh, you know what? If they're units, they should be sniped, right? So then the snipers can take them out. So, it's a cool little deal. Pathfinders are essential on this part, by the way. The snipers there. Um, the snipers can detect stealth. And they're going to be sending a lot of stealth units. But they're also going to be sending carjackers. So they're going to be sending units that can just run at our tanks and then instantly like steal our tanks and use them against us. And that's very frustrating. So having the snipers be uh, near the front just means that they'll be instantly detected and then taken out really quickly. The hijackers are especially... 
they're, they're especially bad against uh, uh, USA. They're, they're, they're really good against USA. That's what I meant to say. Um, because uh, USA buildings, what they do is, um, if you lose, if if you lose, um, if you lose the building, if, if you lose a, a, a tank, right? Like this tank, for example, a pilot comes out. So there's like this sort of ejection system, and um, the hijackers use that as well. So uh, what's gonna happen is if you lose, um, if you lose a, if um, if a tank gets hijacked, then you blow it up. Uh, the hijacker survives and he just goes on to steal another tank. So you have to you have to do some quarantining over there and stuff like that. Okay, I think that's it. Yeah, there we go. Is that only for USA? Does that not happen on like China and stuff? No, not for China. You are uh, Interesting. I yeah. actually didn't know that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so um, it it's not such a big deal for China, but well, you get the idea. You still don't want to lose your stuff to to, to hijackers. Absolutely. Oh, that's that's super fascinating. Okay. Well, now I know. Hijackers infect your tanks. Who'd have thought? Mm -hmm. Link time. Uh, so we're up. Yeah, Link time. So this is the last general in the in the list. So General Lang is actually not a playable character. You can't choose her for multiplayer. Um, but uh, she is the 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 dragon general. She has uh, access to all three factions and a whole bunch of just special features. So. Um, while we only have access to USA stuff, she has um, the particle cannon. She also has a nuclear missile and the Scud Storm from GLA. So she has access to all those and all their units. And so she just has just this whole conglomerate of um, a bunch of different units and types and things like that. And uh, she's super dug in. She's on this really awkward map. Um, it's really long and thin, and it's really mountainous, and there's not a lot of room for us to build. So we have to constantly be, like, moving up and taking more space in order to sort of expand our base. And it's just, like I said, it's awkward, but um, that's part of the, the challenge, right, is that uh, she has this massive, massive base, and we have to, like, really fight tooth and nail to get anything. And every step of the way, she has, like, a bunch of defenses and stuff like that that we have to take out. So this one in particular is actually really interesting just because of the way that, like, I hesitate to use the word sequence break. I think I even said this at ESA. Um, but um, we're going to, like, use units that can go over terrain to sort of get around behind where we're supposed to be able to go, right? Like, you see, we're not able to go up the mountainside here, but um, we're going to use Chinooks and things to get above that and, uh, and units to sort of attack from above. So, you'll notice this area that we can build in it initially is really small. We're going to have to do the best that we can with it. It's big enough just for us to sort of get our foot in the door and uh, just get something going. Um, but pretty soon, we're going to want to start moving out to other things. Um, if you look at the map on the bottom, like you'll see how thin this map is compared to all the other ones. Uh, this one is a very, very vertical in this, in this manner. Also, you'll notice in the top right corner, she currently has a, a nuclear missile, a particle cannon, and a scud storm all on a 12-minute timer. And uh, it's counting down. So we have to worry about that. However, what's kind of funny is that uh, she has this, uh, a safeguard built in where um, right before her uh, things go off, there are uh, you can destroy certain buildings that will reset her timers. So uh, you have to be able to move up and capture those or destroy them fast enough before they go off. We're going to take out one of those there. But that's going to reset the timer, and that's going to be just enough time for us to take her out. Um, so you very rarely ever have to suffer um, through the three things, but that's like Armageddon. If she, if she gets that off, then like, you're pretty toast. Oh, strangely enough, I recently discovered that the that the logic, the AI for uh, using those, uh, the Scud Storm and the nuclear missile and all that, it follows pretty much the same logic as it does for super weapons, um, super weapon generals A10s. So, yeah, it's uh, okay. so I've I've just discovered, you know, just drop down a bunch of high value buildings and should be okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, we likely won't even see that anyways. <laughs> so yeah, we won't see that. Deal. Nope, we won't see that. Hopefully we won't see that if we do this right. Um, yeah. 
So we use this Chinook to take out a couple of units that are patrolling this upper area. And in the meantime, we're also going to drop off a bunch of infantry because they are going to be um, capturing and sort of securing this area. And uh, we'll see that we're going to be doing the same thing again. We're going to be taking out more units from afar um, from the air. But yeah, so we're trying to just secure these, these areas here that we normally can't um, get to. But we're going to get through um, through planes and things like that. We're going to get some infantries. Because uh, in this sort of bottom right area, uh, they have two things. They have two bunkers that are just filled with missile missile units. And um, they also have an anti-air, the Avenger there. And so they just have a whole bunch of things that are like really hard for us to deal with. But uh, luckily for us, we're going to take care of that from the other side. And we're going to kind of cheese it so that we don't have to worry about it. Oh, I lost one. Those oh, missile missed. dudes are... I'm having a good day. Okay. Okay. Good. It's fine. It's fine. Just one comment. is not a video. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So now that this side is cleared, we're gonna send these commentaries over. We're gonna um, we're gonna make sure these guys do not have a good day. So um, yeah. And once we got that sorted, we can we can safely expand into this side. Um, can we get the skill piece? Thank you. Nah, I can't shoot it even. <clears throat> um. Okay, we should be fine. Now I'm just gonna get, um, hold on. Okay. You hear that? Flashbangs are ready. So, uh, we're gonna use these, we're gonna use flashbangs to take out these bunkers. Um, hang on. Get these guys in there. Okay, we're gonna start our strat center as well, and I'm also going to get a third Comanche. Uh, these guys should be able to safely go in now. Come on, shoot please, shoot please, thank you. Okay. We didn't really talk about it too much, but certain units have the ability to like instantly um, take out garrison buildings. And uh, the Ranger with the flashbang is one of them. Um, I guess... Is we're kind of getting, we're in the last stage of the run, right? So I think we kind of never really brought it up. Uh, we're playing the Laser General, but there are a whole bunch of other ones we could play. And in fact, we have leaderboards for every single one of them. Um, but we picked, or Sketch picked Laser in particular because Laser General is one of the more varied and one of the more interesting ones to watch from like a viewer perspective. Um, a lot of times, a lot of the generals have uh, one particular strategy, which is really, really strong and they only do the one strategy, right? So, um, like, uh, Air Force comes to mind. Air Force is a general that has, like, the Chinooks that uh, deliver the supplies and the units. Um, they have ones where the units can actually shoot out of, so you can fill it up with missile units, and then um, they can just run around and just start shooting tons of missiles really quickly. And, uh, and the whole point is like, all right, build seven of these and fill them up with missile units and then fly around and just destroy everything. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's, so that's, it's like, the, that's about right. it's just, it's just one strategy that you just use for all seven missions or whatever. And so it ends up being kind of lame isn't the right word, but it's, it's less interesting to watch or, or even do. It's just kind of like, how do we optimize the one strategy and just use it over and over and over again? Um, Stuff like that. So, uh, laser in particular doesn't have one strategy in particular that's really strong. It just has like really strong units and has the ability to do most of these pretty quickly. Um, so, in the end, it just works out to be more interesting from a view per viewer's perspective to do one of these. Um, are there any other ones that you think would be good for that sketch? Um, let me think about that for a sec. Um, stealth well, comes to middle, mind. So stealth is kind of interesting. <laughs> Uh, because of, yeah, this is, uh, uh he lives, one. okay, that was he close. Bunker looks, there we go. Okay, die, thank you. Um, so, let's see, um, Stealth comes to mind, Stealth is one of the more interesting ones, because he has this, he has this fancy unit called the Saboteur, and, uh, Saboteurs can, uh, can take down power, okay, wait, I... I'm actually forgetting something pretty important here. Uh, let's see. One, two, and three. So we need three particle cannons. Okay. Just get a bunch of these guys. Front. We're three star now, so we're going four star. Um, okay. 
Speaking of saboteurs, there was a more recent glitch found with saboteurs. Um, we recently, I say recently, but um, we have a, a split on the leaderboard, which is uh, major glitches or no. Um, this game is kind of old and has a couple of small glitches that we can use. Well, I say small glitches. Uh, there's a couple <laughs> big ones for sure. Um, one of them is called the uh, Scud Bug, which allows us to fire the Scud Storm um, infinitely and without the timer, which is really, really busted. Um, and it's also the fastest way to beat the game is to is to rush the Scud Storm and then use the Scud Bug to take out the stuff. So that one is super useful for uh, the GLA. Um, but uh, another one is called Saboteur Storage, which um, you can save the game and um, reload the file, and the game doesn't know, or the game loses track of the timer that the saboteur takes the, the, the power out for, and so it essentially knocks out the power permanently, and it sets a flag that even if you were to leave the match and then reload, um, or even start like a new general challenge run, um, the Saboteur Storage would be there until you turn the game off. So uh, it's uh, it's pretty it's pretty OP, and that one is uh, also considered a major glitch. So, um, to be fair, Rickold, uh, you know you could play you could play a game like this now. You know games like Red Alert Two, Red Alert Three, uh, General Zero Hour. Um, what else? Iberium Sun. A couple of the other ones that are out there. The Command and Conquer games are still out there. Um, there is a uh, uh, collector, not collector's edition. There's a whole pack. The ultimate collection, get yeah. e Ultimate collection, there you go. There's a whole Is pack. It? You can buy all the games for like 20 bucks. It's not that expensive. It's on Origin, you know. so yeah. Anyway, it's on Origin. The whole collection is on Origin. Yeah. Okay, what am I doing right now? Um... Okay, so what we're gonna do right now is, uh, we are going to get ourselves, um, Three particle cannons, as you see over there, and a lot of bombers, and I mean a lot mm -hmm. of bombers. We're talking something like 20 bombers. It's gonna, be, it's also gonna be really expensive, and um, yeah, we have about six minutes on our clock right now. I'm just hoping really hard that we were able to get this done. Um, we got it. Yeah, we got it. Oh, we got it. It's fine. <laughs> um, Okay, good for us. We're buying a bit of time, and uh, we're getting economy. We're just trying to get these all directs. They expand our economy. Um, so, yeah, the game for me, the game at this point is to minimize losses because we don't want to waste money rebuilding stuff. Uh, and getting those bombers out and just having a like a uh, executing. So. I would normally want to show you the base, I'll, I'll, see, I'll do what I can, uh, something like this. So there are three command centers we need to take down, and a whole bunch of construction dozers all over the place. We want to do mm -hmm. what we call in the multiplayer scene, uh, a dozer hunt. So we destroy um, the dozers and the buildings which built the dozers. So once you take those down, she cannot rebuild anything, and um, it should be, it's, it's a straightforward uh, process of cleaning up everything else from there. So that's yep. the whole idea. Um, yeah. I'm just waiting for the three command yeah. centers. Oh, yeah, three command yeah, centers, right. and they are they are really they're really tough. They're tough as nails. So uh, I think it's yeah. something like I counted like six bombers to take down. Um, you have to use six bombers to take down one command center or two particle cannons. Um, yeah, it's really expensive. That's why we need to get a lot of uh, war material. Yeah, the so, game does not want you to able to, to to be able to quickly take out those command centers. They are. They are really, really sturdy, and uh, thank goodness, in, in a lot of senses, because the the enemy would destroy yours really quickly. But, um, yeah, so we have to take out those, and then, like you said, we're going to do a dozer hunt, um, and then we'll be just about done. But a uh, final note to think about um, with the uh, sort of old school games, uh, the Command & Conquer franchise kind of died out, they tried to like change things and like you know like oh man we're gonna you know we're gonna change the genre and we're gonna make things super different and then they went in a really weird direction and they really just sort of threw all of their reputation down the trash and uh and unfortunately they kind of killed off the command and conquer franchise and uh, it's, uh, it's unfortunate because 
a lot of these games are really awesome. They're really pivotal and sort of uh, landmark games for um, for the time. They are. I mean, it's like the the quintessential um, you know RTS game. Um, I mean, short of like StarCraft. I mean, it's like honestly like the the game. The Command and Conquer franchise was the franchise people played. You know, so there's there's a lot of there's a lot of great stuff in there. And uh, it's unfortunate that that series died off because, you know, it's a great, it's a great genre and uh, don't see too much of those anymore. Okay, um, no, I'm just getting all my ducks in a row now. Uh, we're going to make sure that uh, we just want to, what's up with these guys? Okay, I can tell you what. Okay, okay, here we go. Yeah, eat some Comanche. Um, let's see here. Okay, now that we've got everything ready, I'm just going to do a quick save. Because I don't want to come back here again, um, mm -hmm. and <laughs> and don't want the see, game to crash randomly. Now we can. Do <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't want that. Um, okay. So we're just gonna use this uh, particle cannon to take down. Uh, we're gonna use the particle cannons like so. Uh, bombers take down the command centers, and once those are down, we should be able to just um, we should be able to poke. Um, at the dozers, so the dozers, there we go, they're all over the place, we have to do, yeah we've got a lot of work cut out for us, and um, usually what happens at this point is I usually end up missing one or two um, dozers, or like they, they get very dodgy because they like to build stuff and yeah they just dodge, um, and whoa I, this is actually pretty clean, I think we got, yeah I think we got all the dozers, wow okay okay, so we're, we're in business, um, that means we can just clean up the rest of the buildings and we're good. I think, yeah, we're, we should be we should be good. A okay. Uh, more bombers, please. Ah, okay. So now I'm just gonna be I'm just gonna be jumping back and forth to take to to find those um, remaining buildings and clean them up. Okay, here we go. I forgot which one. Hmm. I think this should be the last building. Once okay, this should be the last building then. Once this last building goes, um. Time is when you see when the you are victorious screen uh, shows up. Uh, when the you are victorious. Yeah. That's gonna, gonna be a little a little thing that's gonna happen. Yeah, yeah. there you go. And then it'll, it's gonna come up in a second now. Yep. So ready, 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 and time. And time. There you go, man. This has been an interesting and you came in underestimate. <laughs> hey, yeah, dude. Oh yeah. Okay, so um. I don't know. This is this is where we say thank you, everyone, for watching. Um, Absolutely. And um, let's see what what else what else should we talk about? Um, I never prepared for this. <laughs> <laughs> you can catch Sketch on SG Sketch TV at Twitch TV slash yep. SG Sketch TV. Check them out. Sketch does a lot of. Um, a lot of speedruns of different games and or not different games, different uh, generals for this game and, and a bunch of different runs and things. And he is the best. He is the top of the line. If you want to see good generals content, check him out. He's good. Very good. Getting better every every stream, man. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Hey. All right. You're crushing it, though. Thanks, man. Really a great show. Thanks Thank for you. showing Thank this you. off. And... Absolutely. Thanks for having us. Well, it's my marathon, right? So I guess I should say thanks for having me. But thanks for thanks for submitting, and we appreciate it, man. Thank you. Yeah, wonderful. Uh, with that, uh, bye bye. Follow the runner, and uh, we'll see you uh, next with Starlight Sims Animaniacs. The